Hi, my name is Alex. And I'm Carlo Mejia. And we're going to be dropping an egg to determine the uh, impulse force required in order for it to break. This egg to be exact. This is Humpty Dumpty. He's looking a little worse for wear, but that's because he's our test subject for All today. Right. We'll be measuring the impulse force and the equation is J equals M delta V. M equals the mass and delta V equals the change in velocity. So this is our equation. Impulse equals the mass times the change in velocity. The velocity will uh, changes based on the height at which we drop the egg. So if we drop it from a higher height, it experiences a greater impulse force at the bottom than if we were to drop it at a lower height. And that is because the egg has more time to accelerate from a higher height uh, before it reaches the ground. We're going to calculate these things using some very fancy cutting edge scientific equipment, such as a measuring scale for mass, um, a lab quest and a motion sensor for velocity, and a measuring tape for height. I guess it's not really that cutting edge when you think about it. When you have an egg by itself and it hits the ground, the impulse force, I mean the egg experiences um, a lot of impulse force because the ground is pushing up directly against the egg. And remember, impulse force is equal to mass times change in velocity, which is also equal to um, force times time. And if the egg hits the ground directly, then um, its velocity will change in a very short amount of time. So the force is very big. But if you put the egg inside the fat boy, you have all this cushioning here surrounding the egg. What this does basically is it reduces the amount of time it takes for the egg's velocity to change. As a result, the egg experiences less force and therefore is less likely to break. This is Fat Boy 2.0. We'll be placing Humpty inside this sucker throughout the experiment. Now this is Fat Boy 2.0 because in the past we've made a Fat Boy 1.0 and he was doing his job a little too well. The dang egg just didn't break. So this one will probably do its job right. Cool. All right. We'll start by placing Humpty inside Fat Boy and then waiting to see what happens after we drop him. We'll start by dropping him from a height of one meter. Look at that, he's alive. We're gonna see if Humpty breaks if we drop him from a greater height. Back in he goes. This drop is from two meters. Let's see what we got. And Humpty is still doing fine. Oh boy. I have a bad feeling about this. We're now going to drop the egg from a height of 5 meters. Good. Ooh, that sounded bad. Alright, let's see what we got here. That sounded like a really bad fall. Like, oh, yup, mm, there it is. Yeah, that smells pretty bad. <sighs> That's disgusting. So, it definitely broke open. So, now we will find a place between 4 and 5 meters and determine the minimum height required for the egg to break on. Yep. So, we determined that the egg breaks at a height of 5 meters. Um, so, now what we're doing is we're going to determine the height somewhere between 4 and 5 meters that serves as a minimum height as to when the egg will break. We're starting with 4.5 meters. Well, now we'll see if the egg actually broke. Um. 
It I cracked. Don't want to it. it cracked a little bit. Yeah, that's definitely cracked. So yeah. But that's that is the minimum. Yep. So we are going to do our calculations using this because it cracked but did not completely fall apart. Okay. Right, so this is the uh, process we went through when we performed the experiment. So the height you see is right here and we came up to the top and had the egg in its box up here and with the mass and as we dropped it the uh, velocity that it the speed that it traveled down that is the initial velocity or v1 and then the immediate uh, velocity as it bounced back up is v2 it did not bounce very high but there was a small bounce and therefore that is the velocity that we use when we calculate impulse using j equals m delta v. Alright, so from our experiment, uh, when we took the masses of the egg and of the box, we got the egg weighing uh, approximately 0 0.0616 kilograms and the box weighing 0 0.0474 kilograms. So when we add that together, we get uh, 0.109 kilograms for the total mass that we're going to use in the equation, which is represented right over here. And the uh, velocity, the initial velocity is negative 1.033 meters per second because we are again, when we uh, calculate it out, using a negative velocity for V1 will uh, make it come out as a positive number and V2 is 0 0.0338 meters per second, and we also got that from our calculation. So when we come over here and plug it in, then it's just basic algebra, and we get a final answer for the impulse of uh, 0.1494 newton seconds. And so based on our experiment, it takes approximately uh, 0.1494 newton seconds in order for the box to no longer be able to withstand uh, the force and uh, the egg therefore breaks at 4.5 meters. So um, the concept of impulse force is actually very useful in real life. Um, like for example, say you're in a car accident. Um, the first thing your face will hit is the airbag. Now cars have airbags for a very good reason, obviously to protect you and to stop your brain from spilling all over the place. But how do they do that? Um, when an airbag inflates, it actually cushions your face, much like the fat boy cushions Humpty Dumpty. What happens then is um, the amount of time it takes to change your velocity is increased, and as a result, the force that you experience decreases, thereby heightening your chance of surviving the car crash. In the same way, football players make use of this concept whenever they catch a football. Um, whenever someone catches a football, they're encouraged to cradle the ball like this instead of to just catch it. And this is because they're giving the ball more time to change its velocity to zero. So the force is less and it's easier for them to catch it. So what are we saying? Oh, so you're hyped. Back in he goes. When he breaks, no one knows. That was lame. Dang it. <laughs> He's alive. Yay. So, um, it survived. We're not too happy about that. <laughs> we want to throw it at the crazy exchange student, but we're not gonna. <laughs> we're good, right? Go! <laughs> 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 we keep going, we keep going. <laughs> How'd it feel, Yuri? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>